is a very interesting unifying factor of kinship. But Joseph Smith said the grand fundamental <coughs> fundamental uh, uh, principle of Mormonism was not the common humanity of man. He said it's friendship. There is some. There's another relationship besides the given kinship. There's another relationship. There is the voluntary relationship of friendship. The choice. You, not you. What did Jesus say before he died to his apostles? You're no longer my servants. You're my friends. That's a radical idea that uh, Joseph Smith, one, one time he quipped, he said, he said some of our uh, sectarian uh, buddies have just claimed we're going to hell. I say, as long as my friends are down there, we're going to make heaven of it. It'll be just fine. That's a very deep idea in Mormonism, that it's a social relationship, and that we talked about today, that I think it's profoundly important to add to, if there's scotch out there, you'll get it, add the kith to the kin. Salvation is not just kinship. Salvation also is friendship. The, the most profound form of friendship in Mormonism, we actually ensconce in the center of our temporal ritual. Men and women are set, very, very Hebrew-like, are set on both sides in the temple, apart from each other. They go through the veil into the celestial world, and then they can come together as men and women together in a social place. Then they go into another room, and in that room there is an altar. And what is sacrificed on that altar? What's done on that altar? Instead of facing the priest, a couple faces each other. It's very important. A man and a woman face each other, put their hands together, and say yes. And as one of our great, who died last year, friends, who was into interreligious inter dialogue, used to say, Truman Madsen was his name, he said, at that yes, a supernova explodes. <laughs>